Welcome everyone, Pastor Larry here. Welcome to A Cup of Faith. Today we're looking at one of the names of God, my UC, which means God is my deliverer, God is my strength. Psalms 28 says, the Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him and he helps me. My heart leaps for joy. And with my songs, I praise him. The Lord is the strength of his people, a fortress of salvation for his anointed one. You know, strength can mean many things depending on the scenario and the situation. Strength is the property of being physically or mentally strong. It is the physical energy or intensity. It is the power to induce the taking or changing of a course of action. It is the amount of energy that is transmitted to win a battle or to complete a task. Proverbs chapter 24 verse 10 says, If you falter in a time of trouble, how small is your strength? You know, strength is what one needs to overcome adversity. The presence of God in your life makes you stronger. God wants you to have a deep assurance that his plan is to strengthen you from the inside out, no matter what circumstance you might be facing in your life. Strength Powerful living is needed by everyone, especially in the challenging times that we live in today. Things are not going to get easier. So we need to grow stronger to overcome whatever adversity life throws our way. David and his men were away from their camp. When the Amalekites came and they raided his camp, they kidnapped all of the women and children, took them away, burned their entire camp to the ground. When David and his men returned, uh, uh, David's men wanted to turn against him. In fact, they were going to kill him. You know, David could have just said, that's it. He could have just given up. Uh, but that's not what the Bible tells us. First Samuel uh, chapter 30, verse 6 says this. He says, but David found strength in the Lord. David understood that his God was my UC, my strength my deliverance. I don't know what the enemy has stolen from you. I don't know how discouraged or distressed or weak you feel today, but your God is my you see. He is the deliverer. He is your strength. You cannot win the battle in your own strength. We need my you see. We need the strength of God. Paul says to believers, when we are weak, then we are strong. We are strong not in our own self. We're strong because of God's strength. We're strong because of God's help. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 29 to 31 says this. He gives power to the weak and to those who have no might, he increases strength. Even the youths will faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But those who wait, hallelujah, those that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. I tell you, strength will arise inside of you today when you wait upon the Lord. It says that they shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They will walk and not faint. As you depend on God, he will give you the strength, the deliverance to overcome every challenge, every attack that the enemy might bring on your life. So today, are you out of gas? Do you feel like you're running on empty? Are you operating on your own power or are you plugged in, trusting in my UC, the God of strength, the God of deliverance? This is the power that called the world into existence. It is the power that raised Jesus from the dead. And Paul says that power that raised Jesus from the dead, it resides in every single believer. That power is not just available. It is already inside of you. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20 says, Now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that works in us. There it is. 
Mayusi, he's working inside of you. To him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus to all generation forever and ever. Amen. Let me pray for you. Heavenly Father, may you see a strength of deliverance. Today I just speak that knowledge and that assurance into every situation for every person that will be listening to this devotional. Remind us, give us great peace in the assurance that you are our strength and you are our deliverance. And that is already inside of us. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Thanks again for joining us. We love you very, very much. God bless. Have a great day.